And we continue our team coverage with Call 7 investigator John Ferruccia. And you've uncovered information that Holmes was turned down by at least one other school before being admitted to CU. That's right, Ann. We're learning that James Holmes applied to many university neuroscience programs before deciding on the University of Colorado. Now, one of those applications went to the University of Iowa. Holmes' appeal to be part of that program is essentially the same one that he sent to the University of Illinois in those documents we released earlier. However, the response to his application in Iowa was far different. Internal emails show that the Ph.D. director of the neuroscience graduate program wrote regarding James Holmes, do not offer admission under any circumstances. Another professor wrote, as you see there, I agree with Dan, don't admit. We confirmed that both had personally interviewed Holmes. One additional interesting note in Holmes' admission packet he wrote about his role as a counselor and mentor at a teenage summer camp. He said, I, mentioned, or I mentored a kid with schizophrenia. At 3.30 a.m., he woke up and vacuumed the ceiling of our cabin. These kids were heavily medicated, but this did not solve their problems, only create new ones. I wanted to help them, but I couldn't. This is where neuroscience research becomes invaluable. Now, this is ironic because the one question surrounding the accused killer is whether he was mentally ill, and he may end be, in fact, schizophrenic. So, oh. quite a... Quite a, a, a packet of information. Well, here. interesting choice of words in all those cases. Yeah. All right. Thank you, John. Now, the Call 7 investigators are constantly learning new information about James Holmes and the movie theater tragedy. So, for the latest, stay here with 7 News and, of course, the DenverChannel.com.